when I sit down with someone and I help another person work through all of that. There's another piece of it is sometimes we don't even realize that that the particular behavior that we have came from wounding. We are meant to be objective. We are meant to be calmer than that and more balanced. At least that's the goal. So those kind of things, no, that's not just you. That comes from trauma or from wounding. So we really sort of delve into those sort of things with, with healings and to help you see who you really are, who spirit wants you to be, who your spirit is and how to express yourself in a healthy way and an evolved way and healed. There was a man that reached out to us and he had moved to a new home. He lived in, in, in Arizona. He immediately, he knew that there was something in his home. He wasn't sure. And all of a sudden he started having heart problems. The doctor could not figure out why he was having these heart issues. He had heart palpitations. They took all, you know, a battery of tests and everything. He would have a hard time breathing and it was getting kind of dire, but the doctors couldn't figure out anything. He had contacted us for, to, to do a clearing on his home. So we go and we clear the earthbound spirits out of his home. We clear the land. Let me see my drum back here, drumming, bringing the land up. He went to the doctor like the next day, next couple days after that anyway, and the tests were completely clear. There was, that was it. They were clear. It was the, the earthbound spirits in his home that were physically making him sick. So then he asked for a healing after that because he had some, some traumas that he wanted to take care of. So we sat down and we went through this healing and his traumas were coming up. And there was a moment when he, it was like he accepted, I can't say he was an atheist before because he wasn't necessarily an atheist, but he, he really wasn't much of a believer. He started to believe after we cleared his home, he started feeling better. And then through this healing, his, his childhood stuff was coming up. And what was really coming up was how his father just didn't believe in anything. There, he wasn't raised that way. And the moment that it was almost, it was honestly, it was like he was in a spotlight at one moment. And the realization that there was something bigger than him that there is a God, spirit, the universe, again, whatever you want to, whatever title you want to add there. And it was absolutely amazing. And he has gone on to really continue with his healing, to find a practice of his own. He's an artist. And so he's been painting more now. He's bought different little animals in the, for, you know, like a, like a hobby farm, that sort of thing. And kids in the neighborhood come and they play with the animals. He teaches them art. And that is all part of spirit. When we first met him, he was depressed. He was in pain. He really kind of thought his life was over. And then after a few sessions, we cleared his house and a couple of sessions, his whole world just opened up. And it's such a, testimony, I think, to to God, to spirit. When we embrace this higher knowledge, we embrace this wisdom and that we're all connected and there is something more than just this, this lifetime and this physical body, your whole life can change.